Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. So I gotta say, you know, throughout the year we always have things to celebrate. And for me personally, very very soon, aka on the 29th of March, I will be releasing my debut novel. So there's no better way to celebrate than with some delicious carrot cake. Mead. That's right, I have here a batch of carrot cake mead that I made. Unfortunately, I did forget to record the making of this, so I'm going to do it again for you. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a batch of carrot cake mead. All right, we're all set up now. So let's get this bad boy going. Uh, hold on, I need a drink. So I'm gonna steal a little bit of this and I'll be right back. While you're waiting, why don't you enjoy this little bit of a clip, a little bit of self promo of when I did the cover reveal of my novel. is like liquid carrot cake. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip. Uh, on the 29th, it will be available for download for ebook version, or you can order a paperback version if you're so inclined. If you enjoy things like dragons, vampires, witches, magic, all that kind of nerdy stuff, I'm sure you'll love this book. It is book one in a series that I'll be releasing. But enough of that, let's get to making this mead. So the stage where that one is at, obviously I'm just letting it sit now. Uh, I have back sweetened it and everything, and I must say it is just like carrot cake. But when I made it the first time, I did forget a few key ingredients that normally go into a carrot cake. So I'm gonna make those little additions this time and we'll see how this goes. So in my bucket, I have two and a half pounds of honey and water to a gallon for the other ingredients for our carrot cake mead. Well, obviously we need carrots. We have two pounds of carrots, grated. I'll also be adding four cinnamon sticks, one and a half teaspoons of clove, and about 25 raisins chopped up. To that, we will be adding our nutrients. One teaspoon of Fermate O, half a teaspoon Fermate K, and a quarter teaspoon potassium carbonate. And I will be doing my regular nutrient feeding schedule of one teaspoon of Fermate O on day two and day four. Also, for this mead, I went with a different yeast. Believe it or not, I'm using a different yeast than EC1118. And that is D47. Why am I going with this yeast? Well, I had it on hand and I wanted to try something else. And that batch turned out fantastic. I feel like the D47 preserved the flavor of the carrots a little bit more. So we're just gonna go with that. So let's get to mixing this together. I'm just going to stir my water and my honey a little bit better, get a lot of air incorporated into it, and take a gravity reading. Okay, so we're sitting at about 1.084 uh, for a gravity reading, and that's what we're going to stick with. Uh, it should give us about 10-11%, depending on how well it ferments out. So this one fermented out very dry, which was perfect for me. So I'm going to stick to this. I'm going to pour this back in, wash that later. Now 
I'm going to add the nutrients and the yeast and give this again a really quick stir. Get lots of air in there and make sure everything's incorporated in really good. Okay, so that's all mixed in. Now we just gotta add the rest of our ingredients. So like I said, two and a half pounds of shredded carrots in here. And that was with, I washed them and I just, I left the skins on. I didn't peel them or anything. Just cut the ends off, shredded them. Uh, to this bag, we're gonna add our four cinnamon sticks, our raisins, and like I said, one and a half teaspoons of allspice. And I know this is ground, but that's what I had on hand. It may make it a little bit, well, actually it won't make it that cloudy even because this actually came out fairly clean. Oh, well, maybe not, a little cloudy, but that is still settling and I jostled it a little bit, but oh well. So everything's in now, all tied up. Just a matter of popping that in there. And there's no juice, obviously, because it's carrots. There's a dribble, look at that, there we go. And we'll slap on our lid and our airlock, and we'll be right back. And there we have it, carrot cake mead. Now the whole reason I first did this, which was back in January, I believe, and I did it because my father is turning 70 this year and carrot cake is his favorite dessert. So I thought I'd just have a little bit of fun and made this. It turned out way better than I thought. I was worried about, you know, fermenting carrots. I wasn't too keen on that, but it turned out great. I will note that uh, in secondary, once we take everything out and it's fermented out, I will be adding graham crackers to this. I forget how many off the top of my head. And once this is done and we rack it off the lease, I'm gonna add up, mash up a bunch of graham crackers, throw those in there, let them sit for a little bit. It'll add a nice like, I don't know, bready type flavor to it, some mouth feel. And once that's done soaking, I'll rack it again and then I'll back sweeten it with brown sugar and a little bit of lactose possibly, just to you know mimic the icing on the cake type thing. But other than that, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you actually try this one. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day Happy brewing and cheers. That's gonna be.